Hi everyone, my name is Akshay Kumar and I lead the Muse of Practice in North America for Capgemini. Today I'm going to talk about hybrid integration platforms. What is it? Why do organizations need one? And how Capgemini helps its customers in identification and adoption of a suitable hybrid integration platform for the digital transformation programs. So with that, let's get to it. In today's world of digital transformation, some of the key trends like SaaS adoption, business process automation, and IoT are raising the bar in terms of data and application integration challenges. For example, there's a lot of pressure within business units to migrate critical line of business applications to the cloud. Organizations are improving their operational efficiency and productivity by implementing SaaS applications for CRM, HCM, ERP, and more. So adopting modern cloud-based applications such as Salesforce, ServiceNow, NetSuite, Workday, et cetera, is therefore commonplace in today's modern digital organizations. As organizations look to re-architect, re-platform, or re-host some of their applications to cloud, there's a need for complexity reduction and optimization of integrations for better system performance and management. Organizations are looking to avoid the pitfalls of spaghetti, point-to-point, -point, hard coded and file-based integrations, which are not scalable or easy to maintain. Similarly, to drive digital transformations, many businesses are developing and adopting applications across newer technologies like IoT, big data, and machine learning. The drive towards customer satisfaction and customer engagement is also leading to not just a pervasive use of cloud-based applications, but also ability for both employees and customers to perform most of their transactions via mobile apps. All of this requires heavy integration of the mobile apps with the backend applications, modern as well as legacy, that exist in an organization. Like I mentioned before, these widely prevalent technology trends, especially the prevalence of born in the cloud applications and the rapid adoption by organizations of all shapes and sizes is mandating increasing number of organizations to adopt an API-first approach to integration. We now live in an API-connected world. APIs have become the standard way of connecting applications, data and devices, and providing services to partners and end users. APIs are what makes exposing of data and services in web apps, mobile apps, and other connected devices possible. It won't be wrong to say that APIs provide new models for doing business in today's digital world. Enterprises own huge amounts of valuable data that has potential to boost revenues, reduce costs, and help build new and smarter ways of doing business. The customers or employees already expect this data to be available on mobile or social platforms and tailored to their needs. But a lot of the data is stick inside isolated applications within the enterprise. By using an API-led approach to integration, organizations can unlock this value. To that extent, an API-led or an api for strategy to integration is truly the basis for digital strategy for a modern-day business organization. In today's digital world, APIs and integrations are like two sides of the same coin. And this need to integrate all the business-critical applications in a multi-cloud environment, cutting across public cloud, private cloud, and on-premise applications is mandating organizations to identify and adopt newer application and data integration technologies. In doing so, the organizations are consciously looking for solutions that significantly improve delivery times and provide faster time to market, reduce development and maintenance costs, increase user adoption and gain better insights, move from a CapEx to OpEx model, simplify the SaaS integrations, and democratize integrations. A successful API-first initiative requires end-to-end -end capabilities of a hybrid integration platform, and to that extent, in today's rapidly evolving digital world, the question is not if organizations need a hybrid integration platform, but how soon do they need it to be able to accelerate and support their digital transformation programs. A hybrid integration platform provides a framework for a comprehensive integration and data integration strategy across the enterprise in today's ever-evolving hybrid multi-cloud environment. In other words, a hybrid integration platform provides organizations with all the tools they need to make it simpler and easier to integrate data and applications across on-premise and multi-cloud environments. By bringing together a cohesive set of integration and data integration tools, it bridges disparate applications in an organization. Since a hybrid integration platform allows on-premise solutions to seamlessly and securely integrate with cloud-based applications, it allows companies to fast-track innovation and lower the risk factors in accomplishing integration. So a big question always is, 
what are the key capabilities to look for in a hybrid integration platform? Today's integration teams need access to a mix of tools that allow them to balance traditional and modern integration styles. When evaluating hybrid integration platforms, some of the most important capabilities to evaluate are ability to combine on-premises and in the cloud integration, ability to provide API management capabilities. APIs are amongst the most common style of modern integrations. Companies need to be able to create, secure, manage, and share APIs across environments quickly and easily. Ability to address a variety of application and data integration use cases. Silo data is one of the most critical problems organizations face when trying to digitally transform. The ability to integrate, copy, and synchronize data across applications, thereby addressing a variety of issues, including data formats and standards, is the key. Support for messaging and event-driven architecture. Syncing and standardizing data is crucial, but if enterprises want to be able to build more engaging customer experiences or react to things in real time, they need to have the ability to securely exchange that data across their ecosystem from any cloud-based to on-premise application. A hybrid integration platform should also allow for more collaboration and democratization of integrations and APIs, and to that extent should be able to foster reuse of assets through features like inbuilt repositories. This enables integration teams to build and support the volume of integrations that digital transformation initiatives require in today's world. To summarize, a modern hybrid integration platform should be able to enable bimodal integration in an organization by providing a comprehensive platform to address a range of use cases, which is application to application, B2B, cloud service, mobile app, and IoT integration, a range of deployment models, which is on-premise, cloud, and hybrid, a range of constituents, which is integration specialists or ad hoc integrators or citizen integrators. This is where a unified platform like MuleSoft shines. For quite some time, hybrid integration platforms were mostly thought of as something that IT teams could build by putting together capabilities from existing tools like API management software, messaging tools, ESBA solutions, et cetera, from a variety of vendors into a cobbled up system. This is not just an expensive and cumbersome process, but also leads to an end result that fails to meet all the requirements of a digital enterprise. But following this approach, some features or capabilities get duplicated across offerings from multiple vendors, while some of the other modern integration capabilities get left out. To find a strategic hybrid integration platform, organizations need to evaluate the options carefully as most solutions have some gaps and may not work with more complex integration challenges. This slide shows a sample set of various vendors that support different aspects of a hybrid integration platform. Some of these vendors have been around for a long time and have very strong offerings in a certain niche area, while some of the others are very new and have more elaborate but less tried and tested features. The goal for most of the digital enterprises should be to consider complete solutions that combine all of the capabilities required for both traditional and modern integration styles in a lightweight, unified, easy to operate and deploy platform. Features like single sign-on, common logging and auditing, end-to-end -end transaction management and monitoring, asset repository, etc., are foundational to a hybrid integration platform and cannot be overlooked. A good place to start when building out your hybrid integration platform strategy is identifying your existing integration platforms, determining some of the core business initiatives, and identifying the technology gaps that might exist in attaining data integration and data management goals. We at Capgemini have a robust, tried and tested hybrid integration platform capability reference model, as well as a comprehensive platform selection methodology that we have used successfully over the years to guide some of our largest customers in recommending the most appropriate hybrid integration platform for the digital transformation journey. For more information on how Capgemini team can assist you in crafting an API-first approach for your digital business, or help with laying out an API-led architecture strategy and roadmap, you can contact us at the link in the email shown here. I hope you found this session helpful. Thanks for your time once again, and bye now.